Selena cries in her first TV interview about her kidney transplant. Taylor drops the Ready For It music video. And Camila avoids Fifth Harmony at the Latin AMAs. All that and more on today's Rundown. What is up, guys? Welcome to the Daily Hollywood Rundown. Erin? Yes? There's a couple of guys who may be competing for Camila Cabello right now. <laughs> Listen, I want to get into that later, okay, okay. okay? Because first off, I got to kick this off with some Taylor Swift Ready For It music video deets. So the wait is over. Taylor Swift's Ready For It music video, it dropped last night. I'm sure you have probably already heard and everybody has an opinion about it. So we are all excited when we saw the teaser for Ready For It, but the reactions have been kind of mixed after seeing the whole entire video. So director Joseph Kahn, who also, by the way, directed Taylor's Blank Space, Bad Blood, Wildest Dreams, Out of the Woods, and Look What You Made Me Do music videos, helped bring this song to life. Um, he tweeted out that the video is an homage to anime and sci Fi. And now a lot of people have praised the video, like this Twitter user who said, pure happiness for freeing yourself because you took control of your own narrative. But some have said that this is another form of cultural appropriation, like Ghost in the Shell. Like this user who tweeted out, can you believe both Asian actress Scarlett Johansson and Asian singer Taylor Swift gave us two versions of Ghost in the Shell. God bless Asians. But no matter what your opinion, there are so many hidden messages and things to decode in the video, but this had to be one of the most dramatic moments when one Taylor defeats the other. In the middle of the night, in my dreams, my dreams, you should see the things we do, baby, baby. So it seems like there are a lot of fan theories. A lot of people believe that the nude bodysuit that Taylor's wearing in this is actually a nod to Kanye West's famous music video, which included a fake nude Taylor. Also, mm -hmm. side note, Taylor responding to critics of her bodysuit by posting pics of her in it without special effects on her Insta story. She wrote, it truly warms my heart that people had so much to say about this bodysuit. Another theory hints that Reputation will be a visual album because Ready For It really seems to continue the narrative from Look What You Made Me Do. So some fans also think that there's a Harry Potter reference when clone Taylor looks at a glowing orb and sees a one-eyed Taylor reflected in her eyes. So the scene is similar to a scene where Harry faces off against the Dark Lord, possibly meaning that one Taylor must die because as with Harry and the Dark Lord, neither can live while the other survives. I mean, the list goes on and on. And by the way, if you're wondering what Kim and Kanye were doing when this music video dropped, they were not bothered at all by it because they were out <laughs> celebrating Kim Kardashian's birthday, which they should be doing. Yeah. Um, I, it took me, I had to watch this music video several times before I kind of understood it. My husband was sitting next to me and he was like, so this video means nothing. And I was like, no, <laughs> it means everything, but you have to watch it several times. And I love that moment when the Taylor is freed from basically the narrative that the other Taylor is making her do. Um, what do you think? Do you think it's about Kanye? I don't know. I think, well, yes. Yes, I yeah? do. Only okay. because we know reputation is about all of these different narratives, right? Yeah. So I believe everything is gonna have like a little nod to this and a little nod to that. Visually though, I am very impressed. I am Like, Bad Blood I love, Look What You Made Me Do I love, this one I love. I, the, the style of her music videos and the fact that, who's it, Joseph Kahn Joseph has Kahn. done all the music videos from her that I love. I just want him to do every single video for every artist that I'm Ever. obsessed with. <laughs> like, please. <laughs> That's a good point though, because I think I would like to see a visual album, I think, because Joseph Kahn's signature style is so unique and special. Yeah. And it is very Taylor Swift because they've worked together for so long. I would be interested I in seeing coming. that. that I know, but people, best. but the beehive will be so mad. I mean, you Justin know. Bieber did it. He did his visual. That's true. It wasn't on the same level. No. Erin, yeah. when Selena cries, I cry. Me too. And we have the first teaser from her interview with the Today Show where she opens up about her kidney transplant and she's sitting right next to her BFF, Francia, and Get a box of tissue, guys. So you all know that Selena underwent a kidney transplant due to her lupus over the summer, and while she has talked about the life-changing surgery before on her Instagram, and even thanked her BFF, Francia, for giving her a kidney, this is the first time we are hearing and seeing her speak about it so openly. Selena says her kidneys were done and she didn't want to ask a single person in her life, but her best friend volunteered and donated it to her. Check out what else she had to say. That was the day I came home when I found out and she volunteered and did it. You feel that Francia saved your life because she did. That's 
that's it. Now, like I said, Aaron, this was just a teaser. The full interview is set to air next week, and. I'm just annoyed that this was a teaser. I know. I'm like, either just give it to me or don't. It's you know what I mean? It's definitely gonna make me wanna watch, though. I feel like we don't get a lot of teasers these days. But yeah. I wanted to watch already. Yeah. Like, don't just give me this little bit. Yeah. I mean, it makes it kinda makes me mad. You there's know what I mean? There's more to come, there's more okay, to come. Okay, more to come. Speaking of that, there's more Selena news for you guys. Uh. Well, actually, it's kinda Selena's mom. She went off on Instagram. <laughs> so, you know Charlie Pooh, you know Sean Mendez. Well, Selena's mom, Mandy Teefy, posted a pic on Instagram of her unread emails and captioned it, quote, on another note, can someone please discover the next pop boy band or a little boy who sings about crap he has no clue about? I can't with the current ones on repetitive rotation. Now you're safe, Harry, you're safe, you others eliminated, but they are older, so maybe they don't count. I would drive my car into a wall if I hear Charlie Pooh or Sean Mendez one more time, we don't need to hear them every other song. Yes, I'm really mad about this, LOL. Now this angered many fans who then tried to bring Selena into the drama and Mandy even tried to defend her comment, saying to one person, for the love of God, calm down. I made a factual comment about an inanimate object, radio. If anything, that post acknowledged their success. Everyone has had that thought at one point. These are a few that are currently on overkill. Not their fault. I want all other artists who work just as hard to get a chance. Everyone, I'm fine. Friends, family, and people who literally told me to die. It's down. It's okay, guys. She goes on like it's a long it's response. Fun. Now, Selena, you know, they try to bring her into this, but her mom did say that Selena has her own opinion. This is hers. Her Instagram account is gone now. She deleted it. Oh, I don't blame her. I mean, if I posted something like that, I would probably delete it too because this is, I have to say, she's like, oh, I made this comment about an inanimate, inanimate object. No, you didn't. You, you, made, out you made it about yeah. people. And I don't hate her for that opinion. Like, everybody can have their own opinion about something, but. I do think that there's something there's something called a compliment sandwich. Everybody should learn that. So if you have a critique about something, you should start with a compliment, throw the critique in, but then end with the compliment okay. because that's so much more well received. If she had done that, yeah. this might have taken a whole different turn. Um, yeah, I just felt like it was kind of harsh. Maybe she's just it's just she's having a bad day. She's having a bad day. You know? Shawn Mendes is amazing. So is Charlie Poo. So is Charlie Poo. Oh, Poo. <laughs> okay, we see where you stand. Well, speaking of Niall Horan, he and John Mayer cannot get enough of Camila Cabello or her song Havana, and I don't blame them. Right. So Niall went live on Instagram on Wednesday this week, and he was listening to Havana Unana, and he was singing along, and lo and behold, Camila Cabello started popping up in the comment section, and he saw her there and made a point to tell her that he's upset that he wasn't included on this track. By the way, you should have got me to do to do this part. I can't believe I was looked past. How dare you? I'm very upset about that, actually. So Camila was seen commenting back to Niall several times, writing sweet little things like, congrats on your album, you're killing it, love for real, I love your new music. But Niall isn't the only artist out there who is as obsessed with Camila as we are. John Mayer, of all people, took to his own Instagram Live this week to share his adoration for her and her hair in the Havana cover art. The hair and the face, very well balanced. It's a very balanced, I think you could see the, I would see the silhouette of it and know it was you. Not a bad idea for a piece of merchandise as well. Just the outline of it. Just the outline. Maybe your name at the bottom left or right of the shirt. So Camila was seen responding to that in a super humble way, saying, no, my hair was super messy. I, I don't know, I felt... <laughs> I feel like everyone in Hollywood is obsessed with Camila right now. Yeah. I don't, I do not blame them. Um, but John Mayer's video seemed slightly flirty. Niall seemed like they could be friends. Yeah. John, I was like, I'm getting like creepy, weird vibes. I know. I, I don't want John Mayer flirting. It really does make me like, <laughs> I just, like John Mayer, he can flirt with anybody else. Just not, leave Camila alone. Leave Camila alone. <laughs> like that leave Brittany alone yes, video. I'm very aware. Like, oh, but he no. did give her really good insight on her merch. I do have to yeah. say, I liked his perspective on her messy, tousled hair being part of her brand and yeah. her merch. I would buy that Camila shirt. I want that Camila shirt now. So I mean, if anything good came out of that, I just. We may get merch I her. want. The yeah, I would do that, yeah, yeah. Aaron, yeah. speaking of Camila, the Latin American Music Awards were last night yes. and they were off the chain. I don't know if the kids are still saying that these off days. Off the chain, let's bring it back. They were off the chain. Um, but anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. Oh. I want to talk about the fact that Camila was there 
And so was Fifth Harmony. Oh. So Camila and Fifth Harmony were not only attending the show, but they shared the stage, guys. Okay, they weren't on the stage at the same time, but they both performed for the Latin AMA's audience. Camila performed her chart-topping hit Havana in Spanish and left the audience in shock because she slayed. Watch. love those salsa moves that she threw in there, but Fifth Harmony didn't disappoint either, of course. They performed their new single, Por Favor, with Pitbull, and the crowd went wild. Okay, Aaron, so... I don't know, you know, what happened backstage, but everybody was talking about the fact that apparently Camila did not walk the red carpet. Fifth Harmony, you know, does not miss the red carpet. Yeah. They looked incredible. Yeah. But Camila apparently avoided the carpet. Do you think it's because she didn't want to run into Fifth Harmony or? Yeah, and that's okay. Yeah. I think that that's mature of her, actually. I feel like if I were in her shoes, having a chance or an opportunity to run into the girls and having an awkward moment that's photographed to live on the internet forever only hurts her and only hurts the other girls too. So I think she probably just said, you know what, I'm gonna let them have this moment. Um, I think that was really mature of her. Well, I was gonna, literally, as you were talking, I was thinking of both sides of the situation because I was gonna say, I just kind of want them to like get together, get it over with, and then we can move past, but Camila's like popping long. right now. So just let her do her own thing. We don't need like any distractions or drama. Yeah. No, and I think she doesn't want people to focus on her and the girls anymore. I think she wants people to focus on her and her music, and which we are doing that. clearly everybody uh, and, and their and mama, and John Mayer, Nile, us. That's all you need, really. <laughs> That's all you need, girl. <laughs> Guys, that is a wrap on the Daily Hollywood Rundown. I want to know, what do you think about Taylor's music video? Were you ready for it? Did it impress you? Were you in shock? Also, what are your thoughts on Selena's mom? giving it to Shawn Mendes and Charlie Booth on Instagram. Do you side with her? Do you agree with her? Or do you think she should have been a little bit more politically correct? Let us know in the comments, guys. It's Friday, thank yes. the Lord. Yes. That means we won't be back for a couple of days, but Monday, you better believe, we're gonna be here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Click to the left to see Selena Gomez dish on Taylor's reputation. And click to the right to see if Selena and Justin Bieber are back together.